Pardon me. Uh, so, another crazy story from today at the hospital. Um, th this person came in and like, we just didn't really know what was happening, right? And um, they were very, they were showing signs of irritability, confusion, numbness, which is like, what? Why, why, why would that even be a thing? You know, um, and they were also in a coma. And having convulsions with possible respiratory failure and cardiomyopathies and bone <laughs> resorption. It was the craziest thing. Like, because, like, why would you have all of those things at once? Right? Like, why would you have them all at once? So, um, they unfortunately also had reduced capacity for oxygen transport by RBC and disturbed energy metabolism. So like, well, what are we going to do, you know? And, um, it was, um, they had leukocyte and platelet dysfunction, damaged nerve and muscle, muscle, muscle function. And, Again, it was like so sad, but at least, you know, we were able to come to the conclusion as a qualified staff with our medical knowledge, they were suffering from Hypophosphatemia. Yeah. I know. They had that. They had that. They're dead. They had that. Took us a long time. Is that word? Very long. It's very long. It just be like... So there you go. That's what hypophosphatemia does to you. You have all of the symptoms, all of them, all of them. Every possible symptom of hypophosphatemia. That's what it looks like. It's scary, right? You don't want that. You don't want that. And there's nothing in here that tells me how to not get that. I mean, us nurse, uh, us medical professionals, we know, but it's not in there.